Mm. Good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. Hey, look, got a question for ya. What do you do if you notice in your marriage that the spark has seemed to dim or is going out? Mm -hmm. Hey, let's talk about that and much more here on this episode of Couples Pursuit Live. Yeah. Hello, this is Vincent. And Valerie. Water. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's us, y'all. <laughs> and tonight on Couples Pursuit, we're going to talk about five ways to date your spouse again. Yes, 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 yes. If you think this is something that you or someone you know might be interested in, look, I urge you to share this video with them. We're going to talk about not just dating, because in order to date your spouse, we're not talking about, hey, it's a set date night, because we do that. That's great. But we're talking about actually making a commitment to, like, reignite the spark. Mm -hmm. Making the commitment to actually improving, you know, the, the connection that you once had or you do have. And you just want to make it stronger, mm -hmm. you know. So these five ways are really, um, I say date. But it's kind of it starts with that. It's starting with the, with the willingness to want to connect with one another, wanting to hang out with one another, mm -hmm. wanting to you know get more close. Get those good old days when you might go on. Baby, you remember we used to hang out in the car, yeah, one foot out the door, you in know, the summer, <laughs> in the fall, just let the air blow. We just wanted talk to talk about whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just for no reason at all. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's you or someone that you know, I urge you to smash that like button, share this video with them, and also leave a comment um, yeah. if these five ways that help you or something else that you, you know, think about maybe that can help our, um, the group. We'd love to share your comments with them, you know, if it's something that we know it can be beneficial. So, babe. Yeah. Five ways to date your spouse again. Well, you know what? I what what uh sticks out to me right now is the word again. Mm -hmm. Some marriages, you know, we talked about in one of our last sessions, uh seven reasons not to get married. Right. Right? And so we talked about reasons that people do get married. But it's, it's not necessarily the wrong reason. That's right. And when you've married someone for the wrong reason, whether you realize it or not, whether you've compromised or you thought that that was enough to sustain you, once you find out that it's not, you may need to make some changes in order to um, not give up on the marriage, mm -hmm. in order to fight for it. And then dating your spouse can be it could be something you've never really done yeah and so true. um yes again but also as a means of of uh of reboot yes for your marriage mm -hmm. for your relationship if things have changed if you come off a rocky situation and um and you're having trouble communicating one way to to foster a good connection is to start to date one another that's true that's mm -hmm. true and that leads to number one okay is to try something new together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one of the best ways to um, build a connection and you know foster it and you know fan the flame, as some would say, mm -hmm. is to actually try something like new together, experience right. something new together. Mm -hmm. You know, and it doesn't have to be some big grand you know gesture like you want to try all the islands out in the Cayman Islands or something I mean that's <laughs> great but I'm just saying something like taking another way home you know trying a different trying a different uh, cuisine yeah trying for a dinner. different restaurant or a restaurant if you're eating out or something at home cooking something different yeah, together yeah just doing something out of your regular routine mm -hmm. you know hopefully you it's not so much so where you be like, well, I don't really want to try nothing new. I like what I like. Well, mm -hmm. you, don't, you, you like what you're used to, I right. believe. Yeah, you don't, you don't know that you have an appetite for something unless you try it. And I usually use that in a, in a, in a way to disprove negative uh, feelings and behavior, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to mental health. But I want to share that in this light as well, uh, sometimes you don't know that you needed something until you 
you've experienced that mm -hmm. and I think within a relationship within the healthy confines of a relationship where you you make uh, a conscious effort to to honor one another to yeah. protect one another to, to respect one another so you don't introduce things into your relationship that would be harmful That's right. to one another That's but right. trying uh, to broaden your horizons, mm -hmm. and we are not talking about bringing other people, no, other things no. into your relationship. That's another, another relationship. topic. You know, people. Um, it's a topic that we're going to discuss. Um, mm -hmm. Still working on the ins and outs because I want to make it re really scripturally. I want to come correct with the with the way the Bible was uh, would explain it. Mm -hmm. the Bible does speak a lot about you know. Um, they said the marriage bed is undefiled, but it also gives us what is foul. What is <laughs> what is not permitted and it, right. it tells us some things that we're just not supposed to do mm -hmm. see people just read that first sentence and be like well we should be able to do anything we want to as long as we both agree on it and i'm talking mm -hmm. about like in the bedroom or that's that's the, 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 we're going to talk about that later on but yeah. what my wife is 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 alluding to is that no we're not talking about like getting you know uh we're not talking about swinging nah. threesomes. We're not talking about, you know, the, the 800 numbers and the dot coms and yeah. the secret boxes. Mm -mm. We're not talking about all those things because a truth be known, be told, um, when you have a great love relationship, when you have a, a good communication, uh, contrary to what others would say, and I would challenge anybody who, who would introduce this, um, you don't need all of those outside you, things you no. because I think what happens oftentimes, and this is taking us a little bit to an aside, but that's okay because I, I guess someone needs to hear it. Yes. Um, sometimes we let the world tell us what we need. What, what's acceptable. What's acceptable. What what's exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes the reason why people need to bring a little excitement into the bedroom is because they are not tuned in to one another exactly that there is, is nothing so good. more intense and uh touching vulnerable loving than to find out how your partner works yes and how they like to be approached mm -hmm. how they like to be touched the different ways in which they like to be approached mm -hmm. or touched there is no we haven't exhausted no. that and it doesn't have to involve anything kinky or unseemly I don't mm -hmm. need 50 shades of gray or wood <laughs> or whatever um, and that doesn't make us boring because no. we have a very fruitful life of intimacy exactly in the bedroom and yeah. outside of the bedroom mm -hmm. so no we are not just to be clear well baby try this well let's watch this no, no. you are, you know what to do you don't need to watch <laughs> anybody else do it get together get in each other's presence and figure that out well th this whole topic is the, the we're talking about you know just some really topical things you know mm -hmm. like taking a long way home mm -hmm. you know fixing some things but it's, le it's hopefully you're getting the just of, gist of it is that we're talking about connection we're talking about you know connecting with your spouse and learning you know what they like what they not so crazy about mm -hmm. and then also finding ways how you can make their world you know just a little more better little so every things. day every day yeah and and once you that journey mm -hmm. to finding out you know what your spouse likes you yeah know, what makes them laugh what makes them oh i don't know yeah. and then understand okay why why, why? is that what, what is that about oh because this that and the third why we never really talked about it. it's been 20 right. years but we never we just really get into that part that's what mm -hmm. this whole thing is about is just building that connection making mm -hmm. it stronger you know and just acknowledging the fact that hey we haven't you know gotten as close as we probably could have because we've avoided some like taking a long way home so we can have a longer conversation right so we can see new <laughs> things yeah you yeah know? so that, that, that was one that was one yeah and i like to say my wife um says like somebody needs to hear that and, and i know that was a long one but i i, I think it's it helped yeah, me it's very yeah. important it's very because important. i have run into people who uh in my former work i've done several things but as a stylist i was often um a mentor and a counselor and mm -hmm. a prayer partner and intercessor and all those things and you find out what's really going on with people and I thank God that they uh, felt comfortable enough to share Yeah. but what I'm finding out is that people can be married 10, 15, 20, 30 years and they don't tell their spouse how they really feel about something that's true and they just go along with the get along and then what we do is pull in other things to try to make it better mm -hmm. when making it better is really us getting closer and getting to know each other that because when it comes to dating 
we we date and then we go to the next phase mm -hmm. of, of the commitment or of the covenant getting married and then we just kind of settle into that yeah we, we don't, stop pursuing one another yeah we don't actually make the commitment like we, we just mm -hmm. want to make this marriage better every day mm -hmm. you know yeah we might have been good 20 years ago but the right now uh, what no, I'm different. It was different. We changed. We've yeah. grown. You know, our appetites as far as not just food. I'm talking about a lot of things. The yeah. Things that we, don't, we like to do interests and all mm -hmm. those things. So, and that leads us to number two. Try to take some time to remember why you fell in love. Mm -hmm. Why? Um, hopefully, you, you're married for love, and right. you married because you were in love, not for love. But you married because mm -hmm. you were. You, you married know, someone you that the you love. Connection, loved. somebody you wanted yeah. to to build with, someone mm -hmm. you wanted to to grow with, in every way possible. So remember those times when you actually had those long conversations where, yes. you know, baby, you know, you just said some of the things that just tickled you mm -hmm. and things that you no know, that you were a little scared of. You know, might have been. You know, afraid of spiders or something. I don't know. Some of those things you share that you your just, intimate. Yeah, you probably wouldn't say involved. now because you'd be like, "Oh, that's so corny." But now, nah, I urge you to get back mm -hmm. to sharing. You know how you mm -hmm. feel, mm -hmm. your dreams, your goals. You know, even no matter what age you are, you right? Know, 50, 60, 70. I don't, I, get back to the time when you could share. And if you never really actually been yeah. to that point. Dating will help you get there. Yes. Sometimes yes. you can use something like prompts to ask each, each other questions. Sometimes mm -hmm. there are games that you can play. Now in the day in the digital age, I'm sure there are many things that you could find. But I would caution you to make sure that you find something that's focused on you and the relationship, you and getting to know the other person mm -hmm. versus asking you know uh, provocative questions that may you know, spark and an argument. A, tr a trauma, you know, bring or, up a right. trauma that might have happened and you're not ready to deal with it right now. This might not be the mm -hmm. environment to deal with it. We actually mm -hmm. have a guide that has mm -hmm. 30 questions to intimacy and mm -hmm. I will leave that link there. Right. And we went through the guide. So it's, it's, it's really questions just that you would ask someone to really just to see, get to get to know them and mm -hmm. then get to understand. You right. know them a little better. You know, it's 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 one God. It's thirty questions. It's still so much work to do, but I think it gives you a kind of a format to be able to say, "Hey, what about? Have you ever felt like this? And if you did, why?" Then you let's know? discuss it. And yeah, you don't have to do it, it all at once. But mm -hmm. I think it's great if you if you both when you start make the commitment to do it, to finish it, to be honest, to be transparent, and and to make a safe space for each other to tell the truth. Exactly. And what you will find in your truth telling is that you get to answer, you get to ask the questions. Mm -hmm. Well, what, when, why, and how? Yeah. You know, how do we, if you, do you trust me? Well, I do. Oh, well, what does that mean? It seems like don't automatically go there. Yeah. What does trust mean to you? Exactly. And, and was there something in your past that broke your trust with people? Mm -hmm. Did I bring that up in you? Because it may not begin with you. Yes. But if you don't find out, um, then you just end up dealing with the fallout. Yes. And then you take it personal and your partner who is not trusting when you take it personal and you bark and you buck, it's like, oh, well, now I know I can't trust you because yeah. I can't even tell you that I have trust issues. That is so, so good. That is so good. That, yeah. And um, it's, a, it's an upcoming talk that we're going to have. Stay tuned. That's actually going to talk about emotional intimacy and in, mm -hmm. in those areas of, of trust and, you know, and all those good things. So stay tuned for that video mm -hmm. uh, right there. So that was number two. Take some time and remember why you fell in love. Uh -huh. Number three, look, plan ahead and make an effort. Okay, this is this is just not just oh, okay. I did this, um, Vince Naval, and I did yeah. that, and I did that, and he still, you know, and she still didn't respond in the way that I thought they should. So th this is planning ahead. Mm -hmm. We're planning for to build the connection, mm -hmm. and we're making an effort to do so. Right. And so sometimes, if the first time you don't succeed. Try again. Try again. <laughs> yeah. Make an effort. You know, don't just go through the motions. You know, I done it and they just turned the TV back on. You know? <laughs> yeah. Or they didn't receive it or she act like she didn't appreciate it. Or he took me to this restaurant. He know I don't like this kind of food. Well, baby. <laughs> okay. What you do is say, honey, I really appreciate yeah. it. You making the effort to bring me out tonight. Um, 
You know, you try to find something that you do like. Mm -hmm. And then you can say, instead of don't take me there again, you know what? That was really fun, but I would really like to try Asian food yeah. or Brazilian food or whatever. You know, I, I remember we used to go to this restaurant. You get involved. Yeah. You don't have to take over, but you plant the idea of what it is that you like. How did you like the restaurant? Exactly. It was fun hanging out with you. It, I'm glad that you did it, but I really didn't like the food. Yeah. It wasn't my my food wasn't that great. Mm -hmm. Um, and that way you can be honest because it doesn't work for you if you just like, oh well, that was great, honey. Yeah. Thank you, and you hated it. <laughs> There's a way to say I didn't like it. Yeah. Without saying I don't, I didn't like what you did. Yes. I didn't like the. E I love the effort. We mm -hmm. went on our um, date night this past uh, month. Or the first of this month, we went out to uh, eat at a restaurant. We hadn't planned to go to that restaurant, but, mm -mm. It, but it was so busy in Durham that we ended up at another restaurant. That's right. And we both got some food that we really liked. Your chicken yes. wasn't as hot as the spicy. menu claimed. Yeah. It wasn't spicy, but it was, was still hot. good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, my food was good. Mm -hmm. And then you surprised me. By saying, we're going to go hear some live music. He knows that I just love music. Yeah. And we got to hear these musicians just jam. There was no singing. There was a trumpet player, mm -hmm. piano player, a drummer, an upright bass player. Yeah. And I was just in heaven. Mm -hmm. It cost us a few dollars to get in and just yeah. sit but it was, and watch. But it was wonderful because... And we didn't know what we were going to do. No. I knew we was going out to eat. I had a restaurant in mind, like my wife said. Mm -hmm. And then I playing... The, that was like, I went in there. I said, uh, "What's your weight?" It was like seven o'clock or something. When they said, "Yeah, it's like, like two hours." There were twenty-one people. Yeah, you said two, did you say two? <laughs> and so right then and there, you could have been like, "Oh, baby, we, let's just go home, go watch a movie, do something like normal mm -hmm. that we would normally just do. Go stop, you know, go to our favorite drive-through restaurant." But we was like, "No, mm -mm, no, we no. out, we out here. About let's make it an adventure. Let's walk down the street and let's." Pick let's something. just be. Yeah, let's be. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, then the the lounge, the jazz lounge, we went there and just listened to some great musicians. And I was skeptical about that because I'm like, I don't I don't want to be caught out here in a in a bar or a club or, or yeah, whatever. We didn't know what the environment was gonna be. <laughs> but, but it was, it was very just, chill. Yes. Like yes. in like in a restaurant, there were people there who would you know, they could have an alcoholic drink mm -hmm. if that's what they wanted. But it was a very chill, adult easygoing yes. atmosphere and I don't mean adult in the way that the world markets adult there was no dancing there were no poles <laughs> there was none of that oh, kind oh. of activity let's <laughs> not talk about that club in Miami <laughs> uh -oh. there were no poles in Miami but <laughs> the no restaurant quickly, quickly turned into uh, a, a nightclub, a nightclub. Yeah. we were like alrighty we like, oh, okay. sorry <laughs> <laughs> can I get this to go? Um, but even that was fun because was, there was live music, and you know we are music lovers, and, yeah. and and we know the environment that we should or should not be in, and it was a it was a safe, um, it was a safe environment. But what I want to say about that is, until we made the commitment to mm -hmm. start dating each other. Um, Continually, We yeah. would do it every now and then. And in the beginning, it was sometimes a little rough. And I am the person who, I don't know what I want to eat. Sometimes yes. I really know what I want, mm. but it's not feasible. It's not, it's, you know, it's not tangible depending upon where, we're, where we are. Mm. Because we, we live in a town that, that you know, yeah. we have several restaurants, Small. but it's like all the same stuff. Yeah. And so we have to go away to do it. And that's not always doable. But my husband knows what I like. Mm -hmm. And he knows what I don't like. Because if he says, how about this? Mm, yeah. No. <laughs> Sometimes but, I just throw stuff out there. Yeah, right, so go, I can start saying no. You know, I like no Burger King. Let's go to McDonald's. This is him you forcing know. me into a decision. <laughs> I'm going to say all the places that I, I don't want. But anyway, what I'm trying to get at is this. It wasn't always this way, but now when date night comes, he may ask me what I want to do. But more often than not, he has a plan. Yeah, I, I have a go to mm -hmm. because um, if, if, first of all, we plan date night. It's it's going to happen. It's going to happen every every no month. No matter what. No matter what, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we might go out more times times a month. But I'm mm -hmm. saying we go at one time. We're going to go. Okay, we're going to have date night. Some, some, some one time she was sick, and um, 
and you know we did we still did at home she was like well baby we know we can just not no we're gonna do something yeah well if you feel up to it you know i don't mm-hmm. want to drag you you know and i'm gonna make you stay up open your eyes keep your eyes right <laughs> but we spent but, one date night we spent one was it i don't know if it was our anniversary but something happened and i wasn't well mm-hmm. and um rather than be like oh well i guess this is a bus he spent the entire day in bed with me mm-hmm. um we played games, so we watched did. movies, mm-hmm. we talked, we did so many things that um, we could have just skipped over, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, it speaks volumes to me that he plans ahead and knows date night is coming and he doesn't wait for me to do it yeah, because yeah. I'm indecisive mm-hmm. when it comes to eating and he knows that that's know your spouse yeah yeah plan now, ahead I can tell you I want some I, babe, I want some seafood yeah. mm, I love seafood we can't eat that all the time <laughs> because he doesn't necessarily like it so yeah. I don't want him to settle for fries and you know chicken strips or something like that at a seafood joint I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing. I find anything. In. But anyway, <laughs> so that was number three. Yeah, number, number four. four. Look, be present and mm. truly enjoy your time together. This one right here. This I, one right here. It's. <laughs> right, let me jump in on this. Okay. One. When I when we see couples out sometimes, our last date night of the year, um, of last year December, I think we had to do a makeup. And then we ended up going to your favorite place to get wings, Mm -hmm. right? And there's this couple that's sitting across from us. And I tell you, the it was like this. Yeah, yeah. He's she's he's sitting here and she's sitting here. Um, not beside him, but you know, parallel to him. I did not hear a single word from them the entire time. It was eating. Slowly chewing, putting the fork down. It was, and it was kind of painful to it watch. Was, it, and I'm, it, it's one of the restaurants where you, you had like, might have to re- make a reservation if you go at a certain busy time. It was, mm-hmm. it was like it's a restaurant where if, you, if we go to that restaurant, we want to go enjoy the mood, the ambiance, the mm-hmm. company. Mm-hmm. Not like Hardee's or something where we're just grabbing a bite to eat. <laughs> you know, <laughs> all Hardee's. <laughs> Nothing against Hardee's, but no thank you. Um, but the thing the thing of it is I do realize that sometimes when people go out to eat it is out of necessity they could be coming from a hospital they could be coming from the funeral home they could mm-hmm. be coming from I understand that there are some extenuating circumstances yeah. but if you look around uh, you know it's not hard to find a couple that's not communicating yeah. and that it just seems awkward and painful and you don't want to to do that, take the time. I remember Dr. Was it Dr. Beth? Dr. Beth told us when you go out on a date, that is not the time to talk about the bills, to talk about the kids, to talk about stress, to talk about problems. You set aside a time to do that. Yeah. And when you go out, that time is to look at one another, to I'll reach across the table and we'll hold hands. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we might sit beside each other. I kind of like that a little bit more than he does, I think. Why well, is you know it's hard to do this all the time? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could do it at Perry's though. The, boot, the boots are big enough. Perry's in Raleigh, North Carolina. If you never tried it, do it. Oh, bless your life. Oh, my goodness. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yes, 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 baby. And pork chop. Oh, God. Oh, I just... Everybody I mean, I doesn't just, want pork chops. I want you to chops, go there order the wrong thing. Go to the pork... If you like pork, order the pork chop. It'll change If you have it occasionally, it won't life. kill you. It is It is. A, it's well prepared. Okay. But that is not what we're talking about <laughs> tonight, okay? So, we want you to be impressed be present and enjoy one another mm-hmm. and um take the time to listen to what the other person is saying yeah look yeah. at them like rest in their eyes mm-hmm. for a moment and 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 hear them see them feel them ask about their week about their day mm-hmm. how's it going what's on their plate you know what can i help you do how can i love you better this is how you made me feel so great this week thank them for something mm-hmm. and reignite that part of you that uh was so excited to get to know them. Yeah, yeah. Because it, even though you think, oh, I've been with them 20 years, I know everything about them, you don't. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. Mm-mm. And it's, you, you know what? This is still, uh, she's a full grown woman. But this is still my girl. You know, this is, <laughs> she is, she is still my boo. She's still my baby. <laughs> like, and, um, 
yeah, I just, uh, I still, you know, enjoy making her laugh. I still enjoy her company. And even at the, these years, mm-hmm. I don't want to say all these years, like it's, you know. Well, we've been together 25 years, so that's nothing to sneeze at. We've been married for 23. Um, We spent quite a bit of that time uh, being foolish. Yeah, we wasted so much time. And not fully accessing all the benefit of of the, the, the blessing that love and marriage can be that's true yeah that's true and so so the, la- the last one it. the last <laughs> one is i'll make physical touch a priority mm-hmm. in your relationship now i'm not saying just you know grabbing and always smacking on the, on the booty you know every time you walk by and she be like well why do you get stop hurting me <laughs> You're being aggressive. Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> no, I'm just like my wife said a while ago when um, you eat at the restaurant. And sometimes, you know, we just just reach your hand out. And, and when you're talking, you know, just make contact. Yeah, touch his arm. And like sometimes I'm just, I may put my hand on your knee yeah. while we're while we're doing this. So I may take my hand and wrap it around you. And it's not because I'm needy or I have to be up under you. We enjoy it's, making a connection. Yeah, it's, it's a, I believe it's a necessity. Mm-hmm. Because as a baby, you know, when the baby cries, something about when you pick that baby up and you when you pick that baby up and you just hold him, mm-hmm. you know, you didn't give him any food or nothing like that. The baby just you just held. The I baby. need comfort. You know, and, and the first thing like a, a, a nurse would do after pregnancy sometimes is to grab, get the baby, and let it touch your bare skin. You mm-hmm. know, and so just those things throughout the years, we need that comfort, we need that touch, we need that that feeling like someone, you know, is that close to me Mm -hmm. to be able to you know know, hold me and touch me in that way it's a movie called Old that um um it's by uh, M. Night Shanahan Shanahan Shyamalan Shyamalan, whatever Mm -hmm. and um it's I I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't seen the movie yet but it's one part of the movie where a baby was born but time moves so rapid like um, um 20 minutes might might be like 20 years or something i don't know it's time Mm -hmm. just moving like really fast Mm -hmm. in it you know and so a baby was born and but the mother was having some complications and and the people were tending to the mother Mm -hmm. and what seemed like was only like five minutes or five or ten minutes Mm -hmm. and when they turned back to the baby the baby was you know expired expired was it was dead for lack of yeah for lack of attention. connection and they mm-hmm. they realized the fact that hey it probably seemed like it was like 10 years for that baby without touch mm-hmm. and um yeah so i'm saying i'm saying that to say make physical touch a priority in your relationship you know sometimes mm-hmm. i'm guilty of um we're watching the movie so if the movie has oh <laughs> The movie has like a love scene or a lovey dovey scene, mm-hmm. you know, just, I get a I just the connection scene. <laughs> I, I, I got, he reaches out to touch me yeah, in some way. I got one right here. If oh, it, if it so gets sweet. Um, oh, if it becomes sad, he I'll found get us. He found her. Yeah. He found her. <laughs> you know, they were like, I've been right here I'm the like, whole okay, time. <laughs> and believe it or not, I'm. I'm a very affectionate, emotional person. I like to, you know, be up under him, especially I like to cuddle. I like he helps me go to sleep at night. Mm-hmm. Now, some people are like, "Ooh, cuddle, get off me, especially, you know, when you get up in age and you might be dealing with menopause mm-hmm. and all of that. It's like, no, I don't want to be bothered. But I do. Yeah. You know, I, I want to to be connected to him. We spend our, it. We it, begin our morning with um i love you Mm -hmm. and i'll see you later and we end our evening with i love you and and you know just resting in each other's arms even Mm -hmm. if it's only for a few minutes yeah because i go to bed early most nights and And she's up late (laughs) i still i have to get my have to get my snuggle in some way you know not gonna go a whole day without without that hug or that connection of yeah that. i just i don't I, I think you allow room for the enemy to come in mm-hmm. when you take the connection away right due to the lack of time or lack of convenience mm-hmm. i think you're you're allowing yourself you're setting yourself up uh for possible failure if you, you that continues i'm not saying it's you have to make it like it's a, it's um well, I got Routine. my kiss in. I got yeah. my, you know. No, I'm saying it's not a chore. I don't want to. I don't want to have room for error. I don't because right. some days I might just go to sleep because I'm just tired. I'm, I thought I was gonna get back up, but I didn't. You know, mm-hmm. those days right there are are far are so sporadic because 
I make a mental mm -hmm. um, I prioritize touching right in our marriage and I just want to feel my wife's embrace or touch or whatever before the day is over with so yeah. like to start my day really and right. to end my day so there's a um, there's something that I should address I know we need to close but there's there's something I should address when it comes to touch um, I was in a women's uh, ministry meeting many years ago and we talked about some things that were in this area and and what I found out is some women they were older women and I found out from some younger women also that they don't really like a lot of physical affection. Mm -hmm. um, and it is up to you. If your spouse doesn't like that, you should not force that on them. Mm -hmm. And you should not force, well, you need to touch me more. What happens is you need to date one another. You need to talk to one another. You need to pray together. If that's something, if that's a place where you have found yourself, if you haven't yet, it needs to be because there's so much power in your agreement and in your unity when you pray for one another and you pray together if your spouse doesn't like to be touched something has happened to violate their trust yeah vulnerability and their intimacy and sometimes it may even be something that you've done you know what find out why i'm not saying you have to try to convince the person right um, but find out find out why that's the journey that's the journey to dating your spouse again that's the journey mm -hmm. to connection mm -hmm. um, there, there are some um, times my wife doesn't like to be you know touched or spanked on the booty or, or whatever whatever oh, and I, I know well, I know that, that. huh <laughs> nothing <laughs> zip <laughs> I was about to tell too much that's okay go ahead go ahead <laughs> I know those times mm -hmm. I know when those times are yeah why because I, I, I've she's this felt you no know, trust me trustworthy enough to share why she feels uncomfortable in certain well moments of let's just let's take the mystery out of it okay a woman has a cycle once mm -hmm. a month when that time comes your body's going through all kinds of things and i don't i don't mind the pat on the behind i don't mind the rub i don't mind a little pop every now and then when you walk i don't mind that but during that time of the month it's like let me be <laughs> i'm going through enough by myself we don't need no help <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that's just being honest. Those things should not be taboo between a husband and a that's wife. That's right. That's right. It is what it is. Yeah. And I'm all yours, mm -hmm. except for yeah, yeah. Let me be and by myself. I know that I'm cool. I'm right. like okay. All right. Thank you for sharing. And it took me a while to catch you something like oh <laughs> oh yeah. Let me hug you instead. Yeah. Yes, hug me instead, babe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Rose said, "Um, hearty eat at hearties." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rose. Rose is a nutritionist, <laughs> a dietitian, and a nurse, so she knows. It's not really, not hating on Hardy's, but um. Thank y'all yeah. so much, Tabitha. Thanks for everybody. Thanks for everybody up. for we tuning in. You so much. And look, uh, once again, I start the video off with this. Look, find ways to date your spouse, mm -hmm. and that's just not just going somewhere together and then coming back together find ways to connect mm. better with your spouse that could have been a great title for this oh um, can i say something else ahead. i'm sorry i'm so intrusive tonight um i'm a little bit hyper today y'all forgive me uh i think that it's important too that we realize in the beginning we used to go to the movies just sitting in front of a screen or watching a movie mm -hmm. that's okay sometimes but do something where you have to interact with one yeah. another mm -hmm. and be face to face not just sit down and eat not just sit in front of a screen and be like oh well that's it yeah we find new ways something else to do that. that we used to play play uno and Mancala. Mancala you taught me how to play that games. that's another game when I was a kid going to the wreck and playing um, Mac if you're there you yeah remember, remember Johnny Hall Warren, Warrensville <laughs> <laughs> um, but anywho, so she's now she knows how to play. Um, play um, sport pickleball. We have a sport. Um, we started taking up table tennis. So yeah, you haven't played with me. I know, but I'm saying so we find new here. things to do. Yeah, together so we can do them together. together. <laughs> the simplest things together. Yeah. We mm -hmm. played Uno by candlelight one time. Yeah, the power went out. What happened? No, we did it on purpose. I thought the power went out. No. We did one time with the power was out. I remember Maybe that. so. But anyway, whatever happened, we didn't let it stop us. Yeah. And that's the thing we want to say. You know, don't let it stop you. Mm -hmm. Get a... Um, it, this was early in our relationship. Um, but get a blanket. Sit on the floor. Mm -hmm. Get your get your bowl of fruit or 
your favorite snack yeah. and watch a movie. He would come home sometimes with a container of cantaloupe because he knew I loved it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's so exciting. I bring him a Kit Kat. Oh, thanks, babe. Because that's what he likes. Mm -hmm. You know? That's funny. It make my jaws go big. Oh, she brought yeah. me a Kit Kat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so we appreciate you so much, y'all hanging Thank out you. with us. Look, um, continue to stay with us. Share this video with someone that you know. And um, leave a comment again, like you said. Smash that like button. Just let us know, you know, that you appreciate it. And we appreciate you for showing up. And yes. once again, find ways to date your spouse. Mm -hmm. Never stop it. It never stops. It right. should never stop. Make it fun. Yeah. It's a lifetime of love and discovery mm -hmm. when you make yourself open to it. Don't yes. hide from your spouse. Mm -hmm. Don't keep secrets from them. Um, find ways to foster love in your relationship. And, and Vince is going to leave the link for the... Um, the, the, the questionnaire, questionnaire yeah. that will spark conversation mm -hmm. for you and your spouse. And until next time, we pray that the Lord bless you, that he keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you, give you peace, keep you from all hurt, harm, danger, sickness, disease, and virus, and help you along the way as you learn how to pursue your mate. Until next time, we'll see you here again on Couples Pursuit Live. Bye. Bye. Love y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs>